Wakey, wakey, hands off. Snakey, guys, what's going on? Happy post-Halloween, how y'all doing? Going in today with Stupefacente. This is by Chiang Feng Sing out of Italy. This is um, a real interesting story about a fellow who was, um, Chinese fellow who was, um, after World War II, was essentially marooned in uh, Turin, Italy. So what he did is he made a, I uh, took his old family soap recipe and then went from there. And so, um, Chiang Feng Sing, um, based out of Turin, is absolutely one of my favorite soaps. Um, this is an older, um, I don't even know if they offer this anymore, but I'll leave um, some links below. Um, I found this one actually out of Europe, and here is the um, matching splash. And I absolutely just love this set. Let's do a product shot for this one here. Really, really cool set. And notable about this set is um, they. Uh, this set has been around for quite a few years. Um, one, one notable about this is it actually does have um, cannabis sativa seed oil. I don't know if you guys can read that on there. But um, real interesting. I mean, there's all kinds of questions about how they import it to the United States. Um, or is there any way you can test this for the, the amount of sativa seed oil? And um, really, these guys were sort of the first one to actually put sativa seed oil in their soap. So real interesting and one of my absolute favorite scents. All right, let's wet the face. Again, happy post Halloween. We only had like one, maybe two trick or treaters stop by, so we pretty much don't even answer the door. We just leave the candy out now. It's really kind of sad. Going in with my, um, this is the, uh, what do you call it? Um, my blood edition. This is a, actually this, the same um, color as human blood. I know it's kind of macabre, but hey, anyway, we just got our Halloween. All right. Go ahead and wet this brush. This is a 26 millimeter synthetic purple tip badger. Um, don't remember where I got that one from. All right, let's go ahead and wet this up. Let's see here. All right, let's go ahead and open this up. I'm, actually, the reason I haven't used this is because I'm getting really down. I'm getting down to the, the last. Um, I'm just going to have to re up it. This has always been one of my favorite soaps. Um, Chiang Feng Sing, I just absolutely love the formula, plenty of slickness, zero irritation. This has the scent, not of the sticky or the icky, but it's got the scent of like, um, there's a real clean, fresh, like, I wanted to say like fresh cut grass, if you guys are like in the lawns, I always thought this would be like, uh, somebody who cut lawns or was in the golf, like this would definitely be a really cool. I get cut, freshly cut grass, but I don't know, what do you guys get? Have any, any of you guys tried this yet? Okay, so... That's what the bottom of a death ring looks like. Literally started for you guys. Go ahead and um, rinse this out real quick. I absolutely love this soap. This is one of my all-time favorite soaps. Um, this is my third tub. I've used this up throughout the years. And I always, always have um, Stupefacente shaving soap by Chong Feng Sing. It's like a must-have. So, especially if you live here in Denver. Mmm. Mmm. With TFS, you don't really need to do a lot of lather whipping. I mean, that'll pretty much do it right there. You could, or you could scrub it like this. Mm, which is what I prefer. Some, like, sometimes you don't even need to do a lather whip. It'll, and then just take the rest. See? Mmm. <laughs> wow. Mmm. <laughs> wow, so we didn't really lather whip it. Um, plenty more on that mitt. So definitely one of the easiest, I would say TFS is one of the easiest lathers. Seriously, like it just it doesn't take anything to lather this. It was almost too much lather. All right. Uh, well, I hope you guys had a really good holiday. Halloween, it's definitely one of my favorites. Um, we're back with Super Killer by Phil Moto. Really cool artist. Um, that's what my brush looks like when it's done. So let's go ahead and rinse off the brush. I'm waiting for irritation and dissipation, and there is none. And I absolutely just love, love the thickness, richness of the um, TFS shave cream. It's really, really cool. Always loved it. Always loved it. And I'm probably going to end up getting some more. Definitely, definitely. And um, I heard a rumor. Well, it's not a rumor. It's actually a fact. 
This first edition bottle is gone, so I think they went to a square bottle. I don't know. I will leave a link below. Seriously, guys, check them out. And um, definitely highly encourage you to get this soap. We're going to use a second use on this blade. This is uh, one that I use this weekend. I typically shave on Saturdays, but a lot of times I don't um, put the uh, shave up. I don't even film the shave. So uh, I just don't like putting all, all, all shaves on camera. You know, I like to, Saturdays I like, I like to have a nice quiet shave to myself. Or just go for a reverse pass because um, I only got like a day's growth, a day and a half growth. Mmm, you guys have a good holiday? Halloween? Oh man, I went in um, this weekend. I, um, I didn't do a whole lot this weekend, guys. I just kind of uh, hung out, you know, I was, I was worked out a lot. And, you know when you work out a lot and you get like kind of tired, your body just gets tired in the core and you just need like a rest? Well, that was my weekend. I just had a lot of stuff planned and end of the day I just ended up chilling at home. So yeah, you can see here like even like at six minutes, um, this lather is still really, really, really thick. So. Mm. Mm. Yep, absolutely love TFS. Chiang Feng Sing. Yeah, so I'm the kind of shaver that, like, when I find a really cool company, I'll actually like, do, like, a bit of research into them. And so, man, I just found all kinds of cool things about um, Chiang Feng Sing. Like, I can't imagine if I was um, stranded in a city after a war, like, um, he did end up marrying an Italian woman, and so, you know, um, he just, um, this guy, uh, TFS was essentially stuck, you know, and so, um, I'll leave TFS's link below, you guys, it's just an amazing story, and I absolutely would love to go to Torino, Italy. Apparently, it's really close to the Swiss Alps. I could go snowboarding there. I love snowboarding. I've been snowboarding since 1987. My, like, one of my first passions is snowboarding. I get whiskers all the way up here near my eyebrow. It's really frustrating. All right. All right. Let's get this up. Mm -hmm. But yeah, what I think I did do is I saw that um, you know, it's been a long time since I've purchased any soaps. Like, just kind of been on a buying freeze. And so, um,. I noticed, though, that um, over at Arion and Evans, they have a new beer soap called Pedro Fiasco. It's like $7.50. And so that's so inexpensive at 3.5, um, I think it's 3.5 ounces or something like that. And I went ahead and just bought four of them. They have four flavors and so, or four cents. So looking forward to that. Um, but it also required me to um, jump back on the um, VIP in order to get like some of the deals. With some of these soap companies, guys, not TFS, but like with Arion and Evans, you have to be, you have to become part of like a, a subscription service. So the subscription services will cost you like, I don't know, eight bucks a month or something like that. Real inexpensive, but it ends up giving you like exclusive access to like limited edition labels, um, Series one, and I could definitely feel that this is doled out. So usually after about three shaves off of one DE, that's pretty much it for me, guys. The blade is like dull. You can tell it's dull because it starts tugging and pulling and stuff like that. So oh, we had a pretty good shave. Pretty good shave. So that was my trusted tried and true goat McCur 34C with the Chalmers blade in it. I'll just call it the Chalmers blade from now on. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's like going, guys. Chalmers family. There it is, the beginning of the death ring for the old stupefacente. What can I say? Some good stuff right there. All right, so let me go ahead and lift the face. Definitely do, well, that was a second pass, but I could definitely do a second pass. All right. <clears throat> oh, we are back in business. All right, guys. Um, here it is, um, Torino Italia. This is stupefacente. And can you guys see that dragon right there? That's the logo. Or stupefacente, like that dragon right, right there. Absolutely, absolutely love that. Like I could see that being a tattoo or even like a shirt. That'd be cool. If you guys made a shirt of that, I would totally buy it. What do you guys think? That'd be a cool TFS shirt. I'd love it. So, 
And it's really cool. Um, it's just a, a clear bottle with a sticker, with the sticky of the icky. But I, again, let me reiterate, this does not smell like the sticky. No, at all. There's no alum in here. I think there's only like, let's see here, uh, we got, let's see, alcohol denatured. Yeah, this is alcohol. So, anyways, all right, let's get on with it. One of my favorite, favorite absolute scents. Um, this is a first series one. Got a really cool stopper, as you can see there. And I always use plenty, guys. Oh, mmm, oh my gosh. You won't like the scent at first, <coughs> but it definitely grows on you. I absolutely love the scent. Oh, this is my favorite TFS, the Stupefacente. All right, guys. Yep, that is my Numero Uno scent um, by uh, TFS, guys. Um, that, that bottle's gone, and I think it's gone to a square one. I'll leave some links below, though, guys, but um, I'll always have this in my den. You guys, this is uh, one of my all-time favorites. Man, it's nice and cool on the face. I just love it. Guys, appreciate you stopping by. Um, have a great week. Um, happy post-Halloween Halloween season. And remember, clown fruits are available over at PAA. Fellas, that is it. <laughs> All right, guys. See you in a bit. Maybe Thursday or Friday, okay? All right. GFK out.